Right, so let's uh, get some more analysis on this from uh, Mohammed Morandi. He's a professor at Tehran University and he joins us now live from the Iranian capital. Welcome to the programme. Um, why is Iran joining? Well, Asia is on the rise and uh, the shift in power from Europe and the United States, from the West to the East, I think is clear for everyone to see. And when the United States and the Europeans uh, and their allies antagonize Iran, and Iran sees this shift in power relations, I think it's clear that it's a very wise and smart move for Iran to take this opportunity. And especially at a time when Afghanistan has been liberated from uh, U.S. and NATO occupation, it's important for Iran and the powers, other powers in Asia, like Russia, like China, like India, to coordinate more closely with one another to make sure that Afghanistan doesn't slide into some sort of uncontrollable civil war. And uh, we've described it as uh, this bloc uh, seeing itself as a rival to NATO uh, for power and influence. But how influential, in your opinion, is this bloc? I think that NATO likes to see everything as a threat, and there is a vested interest inside NATO countries to see everyone as a threat. It uh, helps the arms industry, it helps uh, certain people make a lot of money, but it only creates further divisions across the globe and uh, increases misery for people in countries that are targeted by NATO. Uh, this organization is not meant, from my understanding, to be a rival to NATO. It is meant for Asia to be able to converge more closely with one another, for integration to take place at a more rapid pace among Asian countries, and for uh, the Russian-Eurasian uh, project also to be further developed. So both the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative play a central role in Asian integration, but so does the uh, Eurasian uh, notion that the Russians are pursuing as well. So in both cases, Iran being the main power in West Asia, this is crucial for the country's development and growth and also to neutralize American attempts to hurt Iran and to isolate Iran. And uh, we already see that cooperation beginning. Uh, even before Iran's membership or potential membership in the organization, whether it's in Syria or Lebanon or uh, Venezuela or Libya or Afghanistan and Iraq or Palestine or Gaza or Yemen, we do see a greater convergence of views among these different Asian powers. Okay, and how do you expect the United States to react to this? Well, the United States has lost the war in Afghanistan. The United States has failed in its dirty war in Syria. It's failed in its support for genocide in Yemen. And it's failed in Venezuela and Libya and across the board. It's failed in uh, isolating Iran and imposing maximum pressure against Iranian citizens. And uh, therefore, the Iranians not only uh, see this weakness in the United States, the United States recognizes that its, its position against Iran has weakened. And I think Iran's relationship with the member countries of this organization, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, uh, Iran's membership and in, in Iran's, or potential membership and Iran's uh, improved ties with all the countries of this organization is simply another defeat for Washington. Thank you so much. Always appreciate your analysis, uh, Professor Mohammed Morandi from Tehran University.